Hello, my name is Lonzy Buddy. I'm going to be reading the entire new movie script, and then something special at the end. Isn't that wonderful? Anyway, as soon as I am done I will be infecting this computer, then the option, and then finally the world with my beautiful voice. There is no escape. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way we should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get. It's that little body off the ground. The V, of course, flies anyway. Because these don't care. What humans think is impossible. Yellow, black. Yellow, black. Yellow, black. Yellow, black. Ooh, black and yellow. Let's shake it up a little. Hurry! Breakfast is ready. Ooming. Hang on a second. Hello? Hurry? Adam? Don't you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. Use the stairs. Your father. Pay good money for those. Sorry. I'm excited. Here's the graduate. We're very proud of you, son. A perfect report card. All these. Very proud. Ma! I got a thing going here. You got lint on your fuzz. Oh. That's me. Wave to us. We'll be in row 118,000. Why? Hurry! I told you! Stop flying in the house! Hey, Adam. Hey, Hurry. Is that fuzz gel? A little. Special day. Graduation. Never thought I'd make it. Three days grade school. Three days high school. Those were awkward. Three days college. I'm glad I took. A day and hitchhiked around the hive. You did come that different. Hi, Harry. Are you growing a mustache? Looks good. Hear about Frankie? Yeah. You going to the funeral? No, I'm not going. Everybody knows, sting someone, you die. Don't waste it on a squirrel. Such a hothead. I guess he could have just gotten out of the way. I love this incorporating an amusement park into our day. That's why we don't need vacations. Boy, quite a bit of pomp. Under the circumstances. Well, Adam, today we are men. We are. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Students, faculty, distinguished please, please welcome Dean Buswell. Welcome, new Ivory. Graduating class of... Point nine fifteen. That concludes our ceremonies. And begins your career. And on X Industries. Will we pick our job today? I heard it's just orientation. Heads up. Here we go. Keep your hands and antennas. Inside the tram at all times. Wonder what it'll be like? A little scary. Welcome to Onyx, a division of UNESCO. And a part of the Hexagon Group. This is it. Wow. Wow. We know that you, as a V, have worked your whole life. To get to the point where you can work for your whole life. Honey begins when our valiant pollen shocks bring the nectar to the hive. Our top secret formula is automatically color corrected, sent adjusted and bubble contoured into this soothing sweet syrup with its distinctive golden glue you know as Honey, that girl was hot. She's my cousin. She is? Yes, we're all cousins. Right. You're right. At Onyx, we constantly strive to improve every aspect of the existence. These bees are stress testing. A new helmet technology. What do you think he makes? Not enough. Here we have our latest advancement, the Krellman. What does that do? Oh, is that little strand of honey. That hangs after you pour it. Saves us millions. Own oh, anyone work on the Krellman? Of course. Most bee jobs are small ones. But bees know that every small job, if it's done well, means a lot. But choose carefully. Because you'll stay in the job you pick for the rest of your life. The same job the rest of your life? I didn't know that. What's the difference? You'll be happy to know that these, as a species, haven't had one dead off in 27 million years. So you'll just work us to death? We'll sure try. Wow! That blew my mind! 
What's the difference? How can you say that? One job forever? That's an insane choice to have to make. I'm relieved. Now we only have to make one decision in life. But, Adam, how could they never have told us that? Why would you question anything? We're these. We're the most perfectly functioning society on Earth. You ever think maybe things work a little too well here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know. But you know what I'm talking about. Please clear the gate. Royal Nectar Force on approach. Wait a second. I'll hack it out. Hey, those are pollen shocks. Wow. I've never seen them this close. They know what it's like. Outside the hive. Yeah, but some don't come back. Hey, shocks. Hi, shocks. You guys did great. You're monsters. You're sky freaks. I love it. I love it. I wonder where they were. I don't know. Their day's not planned. Outside the hive, flying who knows. Where? Doing who knows what? You can't just decide to be a pollen. Shock. You have to be red for that. Right. Look. That's more pollen than you and I will see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. Please make too much of it. Perhaps. Unless you're wearing it. And the ladies see you wearing it. Those ladies? Aren't they our cousins too? Distant. Distant. Look at these two. Oh, apple of high berries. Let's have fun with them. It must be dangerous. Being a pollen jock. Yeah. Once a bear pinned me. Against a mushroom. He had a paw on my throat. And with the other, he was slapping me. Oh, my. I never thought I'd knock him out. What were you doing during this? Trying to alert the authorities. I can autograph that. A little gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, gusty. We're hitting a sunflower patch. Six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Very. A puddle jumped for us, but maybe we were not up for it. Maybe I am. You are not. We're going 0900 at J8. What do you think, Buzzy Boy? Are you enough? I might be. It all depends on what 0900 means. Hey, Onyx. Dad, you surprised me. You decide what you're interested in. Well, there's a lot of choices, but you only get one. Do you ever get bored doing the same job every day? Son, let me tell you about stirring. You grab that stick, and you just move it around, and you stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. You know, Dad, the more I think about it, maybe the honey field just isn't right for me. You were thinking of what? Making balloon animals? That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Janet, your son's not sure. He wants to go into honey. Harry, you are so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're going into honey. Our son, the stirrer. You're gonna be a stirrer? No one's listening to me. Wait till you see the sticks I have. I could say anything right now. I'm gonna get an ant tattoo. Let's open some honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my thorax. Shave my antennae. Shack up with a grasshopper. Get a gold tooth and call everybody dog. I'm so proud. We're starting work today. Today's the day. Ooh, Mom. All the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. All in counting, stumpy, pouring, stir, front desk, hair removal. Is it still available? Hang on. Two left. One of them's yours. Congratulations. Step to the side. What'd you get? Picking crud out. Stellar. Wow. Oh, apple of newbies. Yes, sir. Our first day. We are ready. Make your choice. You want to go first? No, you go. Oh, my. What's available? Restroom attendance open, not for the reason you think. Any chance of getting the Krellman? Sure, you're on. I'm sorry, the Krellman just closed out. 
Wax monkeys always open. The crowman opened up again. What happened? Oh, he died. Makes an opening. See? He's dead. Another dead one. Teddy. Terrified. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up. Dead from the neck down. That's life. Oh, this is so hard. Eating, cooling, stumpy, or stir, humming, inspector number seven, link coordinator, strike supervisor, light wrangler. Perry, what do you think I should? Perry? Perry? All right, we've got the sunflower patch in quadrant nine. What happened to you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out? Out where? Out there. Oh, no! I have to, before I go, to work for the rest of my life. You're gonna die! You're crazy! Hello? Another call coming in. If anyone's feeling brave, there's a Korean deli on 83rd. That gets their roses today. Hey, guys, look at that. Isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? Hold it, son. Flight deck's restricted. It's okay, Lou. We're gonna take him up. Really? Feeling lucky, are you? Sign here, here. Just initial that. Thank you. Okay. You got a ring advisory today, and as you all know, these cannot fly in rain. So be careful. As always, watch your brooms, hockey sticks, dogs, birds, bears and bats. Also, I got a couple of reports. A root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in a home because of it. Handling like a cicada. That's awful. And a reminder for you rookies, be law number one. Absolutely no talking to humans. All right, launch positions. Buzz, 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 buzz. Buzz, 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 buzz. Buzz, 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 buzz. Black and yellow. Hello. You ready for this hot shot? Yeah. Yeah, bring it on. Wind, check. Antennae, check. Nectar pack, check. Winds, check. Stinger, check. Scared out of my shorts, check. Okay, ladies, let's move it out. Tell those petunias, you striped stem suckers. All of you, drink those flowers. Wow, I'm out. I can't believe I'm out. So blue, I feel so fast and free. Box tight. Wow! Flowers! This is Blue Leader. We have Roses visual. Bring it around 30 degrees and hold. Roses! 30 degrees, Roger. Bring it around. Stand to the side, kid. It's got a bit of a kick. That is one nectar collector. Ever see pollination up close? No, sir. I pick up some pollen here. Sprinkle it. Over here. Maybe a dash over there, a pinch on that one. See that? It's a little bit of magic. That's amazing. Why do we do that? That's pollen power. More pollen, more. Flowers, more nectar, more honey for us. Oh, I'm picking up a lot of bright yellow. Oh, I'll be daisies. Don't we need those? Oopie, that visual. Wait. One of these flowers seems to be on the move. Say again? You're reporting. A moving flower? Affirmative. That was on the line. This is the coolest. What is it? I don't know, but I'm loving this color. It smells good. Not like a flower, but I like it. Yeah, fuzzy. A chemical Y. Orful, guys. It's a little gravy. My sweet lord of bees. Oh, be green. Get off there. Problem. Guys. This could be bad. Affirmative. Very close. Gonna hurt. Mama's little. Boy. You are way out of position, rookie. Who mean at you like a missile? Help me. I don't think these are flowers. Should we tell him? I think he knows. What is this? Match point. You can start packing up, honey, because you're about to eat it. Yeah, sir. Gross. There's a V in the car. Do something. I'm driving. Hi, V. He's back here. He's going to sting me. Nobody move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze. He blinked. 
Stay in, Granny! What are you doing? Wow. The tension level, out here is unbelievable. I gotta get home. Oh, slime ring. Oh, slime ring. Oh, slime ring. Mayday! Mayday! Be going down! Ken, could you close the window, please? Ken, could you close the window, please? I'll check out my new resume. I made it into a fold-out brochure. You see? Folds out. Oh, no. More humans. I don't need this. What was that? Maybe this time. This time. This time. This time. This time. This. Grapes. That is diabolical. It's fantastic. It's got all my special skills, even my top ten favorite movies. What's number one? Star Wars? Nah, I don't go for that. Kind of stuff. No wonder we shouldn't talk to them. They're out of their minds. When I leave a job interview, there. Flamurgus student can't believe what I say. There's the sun. Maybe that's a way out. I don't remember the sun. Having a big 75 on it. I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter. At first I thought it was just me. Wait. Stop. B. Stand back. These are winter boots. Wait. Don't kill him. You know I'm allergic to them. This thing could kill me. Why does his life have less value than yours? Why does his life have any less value than mine? Is that your statement? I'm just saying all life has value. You don't know what he's capable of feeling. My brochure. There you go, little guy. I'm not scared of him. It's an allergic thing. Put that on your resume brochure. My whole face could puff up. Make it one of your special skills. Knocking someone out. Is also a special skill. Right. Bye, Vanessa. Thanks. Vanessa, next week? Yogurt night. Sure, Ken. You know, whatever. You could put carob chips on there. Bye. Supposed to be less calories. Bye. I gotta say something. She saved my life. I gotta say something. All right, here it goes. Nah, what would I say? I could really get in trouble. It's a V-Law. You're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got to. Oh, I can't do it. Human. No. Yes. No. Do it. I can't. How should I start it? You like jazz? No, that's no good. Here she comes. Speak, you fool. Hi. I'm sorry. You're talking. Yes, I know. You're talking. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's fine. I know I'm dreaming. But I don't recall going to bed. Well, I'm sure this is very disconcerting. This is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're me. I am. And I'm not supposed to be doing this, but they were all trying to kill me. And if it wasn't for you, I had to thank you. It's just how I was raised. That was a little weird. I'm talking with a V. Yeah, I'm talking to a V. And the V is talking to me. I just want to say I'm grateful. I'll leave now. Wait. How did you learn to do that? What? The talking thing. Same way you did, I guess. Mama, Tata, honey. You pick it up. That's very funny. Yeah. These are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry with what we have to deal with. Anyway. Oh my. Get you something? Like what? I don't know. I mean... I don't know. Oofy? I don't want to put you out. It's no trouble. It takes two minutes. It's just coffee. I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. Hey, you want rum cake? I shouldn't. Have some. No, I can't. Ooman. I'm trying to lose a couple micrograms. Where? These stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if you know. 
Anything about fashion? Are you all right? No. He's making the tie in the cab. As they're flying up Madison, he finally gets there. He runs up the steps into the church. The wedding is on. And he says, Watermelon? I thought you said Guatemalan. Why would I marry you, Watermelon? Is that a V joke? That's the kind of stuff we do. Yeah, different. So, what are you gonna do, Barry? About work? I don't know. I want to do my part for the hive, but I can't do it the way they want. I know how you feel. You do? Sure. My parents wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I wanted to be a florist. Really? My only interest is flowers. Our new queen was just elected with that same campaign slogan. Anyway, if you look, there's my eye right there. See it? You're in Sheep Meadow? Yes! I'm right off the Turtle Pond! No way! I know that area. I lost a toe ring there once. Why do girls put rings on their toes? Why not? It's like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe I'll try that. You all right, ma'am? Oh, yeah. Fine. Just having two cups of coffee. Anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry I couldn't finish it. If I did, I'd be up the rest of my life. Are you? Oh, I take a piece of this with me? Sure. Here, have a crumb. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Well, then. I guess I'll see you around. Or not. Okay, Barry. And thank you. So much again. For the four. Oh, that. That was nothing. Well, not nothing, but... Anyway. This can't possibly work. He's all set to go. We may as well try it. Okay, Dave. Pull the shoot. Sounds amazing. It was amazing. It was the scariest, happiest moment of my life. Humans. I can't believe. You were with humans. Giant, scary humans. What were they like? Huge and crazy. They talk crazy. They eat crazy giant things. They drive crazy. Do they try and kill you, like on TV? Some of them. But some of them don't. How'd you get back? Poodle. You did it, and I'm glad. You saw. Whatever you wanted to see. You had your experience. Now you can pick out the hours of and be normal. Well, 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 I met someone. You did? Was she the ish? A wasp? Your parents will kill you. No, 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 not a wasp. Spider? I'm not attracted to spiders. I know it's the oddest thing with the eight legs and all. I can't get by that face. So who is she? She's... Human. No, no. That's a V-Law. You wouldn't break a V-Law. Her name's Vanessa. Oh, boy. She's so nice. And she's a florist. Oh, no. You're dating a human florist. We're not dating. You're flying outside the hive, talking to humans that attack our homes. With power washers and M, 80s. What is a stick of dynamite? She saved my life. And she understands me. This is over. Eat this. This is not over. What was that? They call it a crumb. It was so stingy and stripey. And that's not what they eat. That's what falls off what they eat. You know what a poison is? No. It's bread and cinnamon and frosting. They eat it up. Sit down. Really hot. Listen to me. We are not them. We're us. There's us and there's them. Yes, but who can deny the heart that is yearning? There's no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. You have got to start thinking me, my friend. Thinking me. 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 There he is. He's in the pool. You know what your problem is, Barry? I gotta start thinking me. How much longer will this go on? It's been three days. 
Why aren't you working? I've got a lot of big life decisions to think about. What life? You have no life. You have no job. You are merely a bee. Would it kill you to make a little honey? Harry, come out. Your father's talking to you. Martin, would you talk to him? Harry, I'm talking to you. You come in. Got everything? All set. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Don't be too long. Watch this. Vanessa, we're still here. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond to yelling. Then why yell at me? Because you don't listen. I'm not listening to this. Sorry, I've got to go. Where are you going? I'm meeting a friend. A girl? Is this why you can't decide? Why? I just hope she's the ish. They have a huge parade. A flowers every year in Pasadena. To be in the Tournament of Roses, that's every forest stream. Up on a float, surrounded. By flowers, crowds cheering. A tournament. To the roses. Compete in athletic events? No. All right, I've got one. How come you don't fly everywhere? It's exhausting. Why don't you run everywhere? It's faster. Yeah, okay, I see, I see. All right, your turn. TiVo, you can just freeze, live TV? That's insane. You don't have that. We have Evo, but it's a disease. It's a horrible, horrible disease. Oh, my. Dummies. You must want to sting all those jerks. We try not to sting. It's usually fatal for us. So you have to watch your temper. Very carefully. You kick a wall, take a walk, write an angry letter and throw it out. Work through it like any emotion. Anger, jealousy, lust. Oh, my goodness. Are you okay? Yeah. What is wrong with you? It's a bug. He's not bothering anybody. Get out of here, you creep. What was that? A pick and save circular? Yeah, it was. How did you know? It felt like about 10 pages. 75 is pretty much our limit. You've really got that. Down to a science. I lost a cousin to Italian Vogue. I'll bet. What in the name of mighty Hercules is this? How did this get here? Out B, Golden Blossom, really out of private select? Is he that actor? I never heard of him. Why is this here? For people, we eat it. You don't have enough food of your own? Well, yes. How do you get it? Please make it. I know who makes it. And it's hard to make it. There's eating, cooling, stirring. You need a whole chrome thing. It's organic. It's organic. It's just honey, very. Just what? Please don't know about this. This is stealing. A lot of stealing. You've taken our homes, schools, hospitals. This is all we have. And it's on sale. I'm getting to the bottom of this. I'm getting to the bottom of all of this. Hey, Hector. You almost done? Almost. He is here. I sense it. Well, I guess I'll go home now. And just leave this nice honey out with no one around. You are busted, box boy. I knew I heard something. So you can talk. I can talk. And now you'll start talking. Where are you getting the sweet stuff? Who's your supplier? I don't understand. I thought we were friends. The last thing we want to do is upset bees. You're too late. It's ours now. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, will be lunch for my iguana, Ignacio. Where is the honey coming from? Tell me where. Honey farms. It comes from honey farms. Or is he person? What horrible thing has happened here? These faces, they never knew what hit them. And now, they're on the road to nowhere. Just keep still. What? You're not dead? Do I look dead? They will wipe anything that moves. Where you headed? To honey farms. I want to do something new here. I'm going to Alaska. Moose blood, crazy stuff. Blows your head off. 
I'm going to Tacoma. And you? He really is dead. All right. Uh oh. What is that? Oh, no. A wiper. Triple blade. Triple blade? Jump on. It's your only chance. B. Why does everything have to be so darn clean? How much do you people need to see? Open your eyes. Stick your head out the window. From NPR News in Washington, I'm Oral Castle. But don't kill no more bugs. B. Moose blood guy. You hear something? Like what? Like tiny screaming. Turn off the radio. What's up, boy? Hey, blood. Just a room of honey jars, as far as the eye could see. Wow. I assume wherever this truck goes is where they're getting it. I mean, that honey's ours. Please hang tight. We're all jammed in. It's a closed community. Not us, man. We on our own. Every mosquito on his own. What if you get in trouble? You a mosquito, you in trouble. Nobody likes us. They just smack. See a mosquito, smack, smack. At least you're out in the world. You must meet girls. Mosquito girls try to treat up. Get with a moth, dragonfly. Mosquito girl, don't want no mosquito. You got to be kidding me. Mozegla's about to leave. The building. So long, B. Hey, guys. Mozegla. I knew I'd catch y'all down here. Did you bring your crazy straw? We threw it in jars, slap a label on it, and it's pretty much pure profit. What is this place? A bee's got a brain. The size of a pinhead. They are pinheads. Pinhead. I'll hack out the new smoker. Oh, sweet. That's the one you want. The Thomas 3000. Smoker? 90 puffs a minute. Semi-automatic. Twice the nicotine. All the tar. A couple breaths of this. Knocks them right out. They make the honey, and we make the money. They make the honey, and we make the money? Oh, my. What's going on? Are you okay? Yeah. It doesn't last too long. Do you know you're in a fake hive with fake walls? Our queen was moved here. We had no choice. This is your queen? That's a man in women's clothes. That's a drag queen. What is this? Oh, no. There's hundreds of them. The honey. Our honey is being brazenly stolen. On a massive scale. This is worse than anything bears have done. I intend to do something. Oh, Barry, stop. Who told you humans are taking our honey? That's a rumor. Do these look like rumors? That's a conspiracy theory. These are obviously doctored photos. How did you get mixed up in this? He's been talking to humans. What? Talking to humans? He has a human girlfriend. And they make out. Make out. Barry! We do not. You wish you could. Whose side are you on? The bees. I dated a cricket once in San Antonio. Those crazy legs kept me up all night. Barry, this is what you want. To do with your life? I want to do it for all our... Liz. Nobody works harder than bees. Dad, I remember you. Coming home so overworked. Your hands were still stirring. You couldn't stop. I remember that. What right do they have to our honey? We live on two cups a year. They put it. It lit bomb for no reason whatsoever. Even if it's true, what can one be do? Sting them where it really hurts. In the face. The eye. That would hurt. No. Up the nose. That's a killer. There's only one place you can sting. The humans, one place where it matters. Hive at five, the hives only. Full our racks and news source. No more ears. With a bumble at the anchor desk. Weather with Storm Stinger. Sports with Buzz Larvy. And Jeanette on. Good evening. I'm Bob Bumble. And I'm Jeanette on. A Tri-Town TV. Barry Benson intends to sue the human race. For stealing our honey, packaging it and profiting. From it illegally.
Tomorrow night on The Larry King, we'll have three former queens here into our studio, discussing their new book, Alessi Ladies, out this week on Mexican. Tonight we're talking to Mary Benson. Did you ever think, I'm a kid, from the hive, I can't do this? Bees have never been afraid to change the world. What about B. Columbus? B. Dandy? Jesus? Where I'm from, we never sue humans. We were thinking of stickball or candy stores. How old are you? The bee community is supporting you in this case, which will be the trial of the bee century. You know, they have Larry King in the human world too. It's a common name. Next week. He looks like you and has a show on suspenders and colored dots. Next week. Classes, quotes on the bottom from me. Just even though you just heard him. Your week next week. They're scary. Harry and here live. Always leans forward, pointy shoulders, squinty eyes, very Jewish. In tennis, you attack. At the point of weakness. It was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. Honey, her back hands a joke. I'm not gonna take advantage of that. Quiet, please. Actual work going on here. Is that that same B? Yes, it is. I'm helping him sue the human race. Hello. Hello, B. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you. Timberland size. Ten and a half. Vibram soul, I believe. Why does he talk again? Listen, you better go. Cause we're really busy working. But it's our yogurt night. Bye bye. Why is yogurt night so difficult? You poor thing. You two have been at this for hours. Yes, an atom here has been a huge help. Frosting. How many sugars? Just one. I try not to use the competition. So why are you helping me? These have good qualities. And it takes my mind off the shop. Instead of flowers, people are using balloon bouquets now. Those are great if you're free. And artificial flowers. Oh, those just get me psychotic. Yeah, me too. And stingers, pointless pollination. Bees must hate those fake things. Nothing worse than a daffodil that's had work done. Maybe this could make up for it a little bit. This lawsuit's a pretty big deal. I guess. You sure you want to go through with it? Am I sure? When I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, Honey, I'm home. Without paying a royalty, it's an incredible scene. Here in downtown Manhattan, where the world anxiously waits, because for the first time in history, we will hear for ourselves if a honey bee can actually speak. What have we gotten into here, Harry? It's pretty big, isn't it? I can't believe how many humans don't work during the day. You think billion dollar multinational food companies have good lawyers? Everybody needs to stay behind the barricade. What's the matter? I don't know. I just gotta chill. Well, if it isn't the V-team, you boys work on this? All rise! The Honorable. Judge Lumbleton presiding. All right. Who's number 4475, Superior Howard of New York, Mary V. Benson V. Honey Industry, is now in session. Mr. Montgomery, you're representing the five food companies collectively? A privilege, Mr. Benson. You're representing all the bees of the world? I'm kidding. Yes, Your Honor, we're ready to proceed. Mr. Montgomery, your opening statement, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grandmother was a simple woman. Born on a farm, she believed it was man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. If we lived in the topsy-turvy world, Mr. Benson imagines, just think of what would it mean. I would have to negotiate with a silkworm for the elastic in my riches. Talking me! How do we know this isn't some sort of holographic motion picture capture? Hollywood wizardry? They could be using laser beams, robotics, ventriloquism, all owning 
Let's roll me now. He could be on steroids. Mr. Benson? Ladies and gentlemen, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. Honey's pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it. And we protect it. With our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take it from us. Cause we're the little guys. I'm hoping that, after this is all over, you'll see how, by taking our honey, you not only take everything we have, but everything we are. I wish you'd dress like that. All the time. So nice. Oh, your first witness. So, Mr. Klaus van der Hayden, of Honey Farms, big company you have. I suppose so. I see you also own Honey Bird and Amarin. Yes, they provide beekeepers. For our farms, beekeeper, I find that to be a very disturbing term. I don't imagine you employ any bee freeers, do you? No, I couldn't hear you. No, no, because you don't free bees. You keep bees. Not only that, it seems you thought a bear would be an appropriate image for a jar of honey. They're very lovable creatures. Yogi Bear, Fozzie Bear, Bill Hay Bear, you mean like this? Bears kill bees! How'd you like his head crashing through your living room? Climbing into your couch, spitting out your throat pillows! Okay, that's enough. Take him away. So, Mr. Sting, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me. Where have I heard it before? I was with a man called the police, but you've never been. A police officer, have you? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. And so here, we have yet another example of bee culture casually stolen by a human for nothing more than a prince of outstage name. Oh, please. Have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stung, Sting. Or should I say, Mr. Gordon M. Sumner? That's not his real name. You idiots. Mr. Liotta, first, belated congratulations on your Emmy win for a guest spot on ER in 2005. Thank you. Thank you. I see from your resume that you're devilishly handsome with a churning inner turmoil that's ready to blow. I enjoy what I do. Is that a crime? Not yet it isn't. What is this? What it's come to for you. Exploiting tiny, helpless bees. So you don't have to rehearse. Your part and learn your lines, sir. Watch it, Benson. I could blow right now. This isn't a good fella. This is a bad fella. Why doesn't someone just step on this creep and we can all go home? Order in this court. You're all thinking it. Order. Order, I say. Say it. Mr. Liotta, please sit down. I think it was awfully nice of that bear to pitch in like that. I think the jury's on our side. Are we doing everything right, legally? I'm a florist. Right. Well, here's to a great team. To a great team. Well, hello. Ken. Hello. I didn't think you were coming. No, I was just late. I tried to call, but... The battery. I didn't want all this to go to waste, so I called Harry. Luckily, he was free. Oh, that was lucky. There's a little left. I could eat it up. Yeah, heat it up. Sure, whatever. So I hear you're quite a tennis player. I'm not much for the game myself. The wall's a little grabby. That's where I usually sit. Right. There. Ken, Barry was looking at your resume, and he agreed with me that eating with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. You think I don't see what you're doing? I know how hard it is to find the right job. We have that in common. Do we? We have 100% employment, but we do jobs like taking the crud out. That's just what I was thinking about doing. Ken, I let Barry borrow your razor. For his fuzz. I hope that was all right. I'm going to drain the old stinger. Yeah, you do that. Look at that. You know, I've just about had it. With your little mind games. 
What's that? Italian Vogue. Mamma mia, that's a lot of pages. A lot of ads. Remember what Van said, what is? Your life more valuable than mine? Funny, I just can't seem to recall that. I think something stinks in here. I love the smell of flowers. How do you like the smell of flames? Not as much. Water mug. Not taking size. Kim, I'm wearing a lapstick hat. This is pathetic. I've got issues. Well, 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 a royal flush. You're bluffing. Am I? Surf's up, dude. Two water. That bowl is gnarly. Except for those dirty yellow rings. Kenneth, what are you doing? You know, I don't even like honey. I don't need it. We need to talk. He's just a little bee. And he happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. Long time? What are you talking about? Are there other bugs in your life? No, but there are other things bugging me in life. And you're one of them. Fine. Talking bees, no yogurt night. My nerves are fried from riding on this emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. And for your information, I prefer sugar-free artificial sweeteners made by man. I'm sorry about all that. I know it's got an aftertaste. I like it. I always felt there was some kind of barrier between Ken and me. I couldn't overcome it. Oh, well, are you okay for the trial? I believe Mr. Montgomery is about out of ideas. We would like to call Mr. Harry Benson B to the stand. Good idea. You can really see why he's considered one of the best lawyers. Yeah, Layton, you've got to weave some magic with this jury or it's gonna be all over. Don't worry. The only thing I have to do to turn this jury around is to remind them of what they don't like about bees. You got the tweezers? Are you allergic? Only to losing, son. Only to losing. Mr. Benson B, I asked you what I think we'd all like to know. What exactly is your relationship to that woman? We're friends. Good friends? Yes. How good. Do you live together? Wait a minute. Are you a little? Bedbug? I've seen a bee documentary or two. From what I understand, doesn't your queen give birth to all the bee children? Yeah, but... So those aren't your real parents. Oh, very. Yes, they are. Hold me back. You're an illegitimate bee, aren't you, Benson? He's denouncing bees. Don't we all hate your cousins? Objection. I'm going to pincushion this guy. Adam, don't. It's what he wants. Oh, I'm it. Oh, Lordy, I'm it. Order. Order. The venom. The venom is coursing through my veins. I have been felled by a wind beast of destruction. You see? You can't treat them like equals. They're striped savages. Stinging's the only thing they know. It's their way. Adam, stay with me. I can't feel my legs. What angel of mercy will come forward to suck the poison from my even buttocks? I will have order in this court. Order. Order, please. The case of the honeybees versus the human race took a point to turn against the bees yesterday when one of their legal team stung Leighton T. Montgomery. Hey, buddy. Hey. Is there much pain? Yeah. I... I blew the whole case, didn't I? It doesn't matter. What matters is, you're alive. You could have died. I'd be better off dead. Look at me. They got it from the cafeteria. Downstairs, in a tuna sandwich. Look, there's a little celery still on it. What was it like to sting someone? I can't explain it. It was all. All is adrenaline and then. And then ecstasy. All right. You think it was all a trap? Of course. I'm sorry. I flew us right into this. What were we thinking? Look at us. We're just a couple of bugs in this world. 
What will the humans do to us if they win? I don't know. I usually put the roaches in motels. That doesn't sound so bad. Adam, they check in, but they don't check out. Oh, my. Oh, I'll you get a nurse to close that window? Why? The smoke. Please don't smoke. Right. Please don't smoke. Please don't smoke. But some bees are smoking. That's it. That's our case. It is. It's not over. Get dressed. I've got to go somewhere. Get back to the court and stall. Stall any way you can. And assuming you've done step correctly, you're ready for the tub, Mr. Flayman. Yes? Yes, Your Honor. Where is the rest of your team? Well, Your Honor, it's interesting. These are trained to fly haphazardly, and as a result, we don't make very good time. I actually heard a funny story about. Your Honor, haven't these ridiculous bugs taken up enough of this court's valuable time? How much longer will we allow these absurd shenanigans to go on? They have presented no compelling evidence to support their charges against my clients who run legitimate businesses. I move for a complete dismissal of this entire case. Mr. Flayman, I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Montgomery's motion. But you can't. We have a terrific case. Where is your proof? Where is the evidence? Show me the smoking gun. Hold it, Your Honor. You want a smoking gun? Here is your smoking gun. What is that? It's a V-smoker. What, this? This harmless little contraption? This couldn't hurt a fly, let alone a V. Look at what has happened. To these who have never been asked, smoking or numb? Is this what nature intended for us? To be forkedly addicted to smoke machines and man-made wooden slat work camps? Living out our lives as honey slaves to the white man? What are we gonna do? He's playing the species card. Ladies and gentlemen, please, free the bees. 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 The court finds in favor of the bees. Vanessa, we... One. I knew you could do it. High five. Sorry. I'm okay. You know what this means. All the honey will finally belong to the bees. Now you won't have to work so hard all the time. This is an unholy perversion of the balance of nature, Benson. You'll regret this. Very. how much honey is out there? All right. One at a time. Harry, who are you wearing? My sweater is Ralph Lauren, and I have no pants. What if Montgomery's right? What do you mean? We've been living the V-way. A long time, 27 million years. Congratulations on your victory. What will you demand as a settlement? First, we'll demand a complete shutdown of all V-work camps. Then we want back the honey. That was ours to begin with, every last drop. We demand an end to the glorification of the air as anything more than a filthy, smelly, bad breath stink machine. We're all aware of what they do in the woods. Wait for my signal. Take him out. He'll have nauseous. For a few hours, then he'll be fine. And we will no longer tolerate any negative nicknames. But it's just a prance of outstage name. A necessary inclusion of honey. In bogus health products, and we'll eat a human. Tea time snack garnishments. Oh, breathe. Bring it in, boys. Hold it right there. Good. Tap it. Mr. Muswell, we just passed three cups, and there's gallons more coming. I think we need to shut down. Shut down? We've never shut down. Shut down honey production. Stop making money. Turn your key, sir. What do we do now? Own and wall. We're shutting honey production. Mission abort. Awarding pollination and nectar detail. Returning to base. Adam, you wouldn't believe how much honey was out there. Oh, yeah? What's going on? Where is everybody? Are they out celebrating? They're home. 
They don't know what to do. Laying out, sleeping in. I urge your uncle Earl was on his way to San Antonio with a cricket. At least we got our honey back. Sometimes I think so what if humans liked our honey? Who wouldn't? It's the greatest thing in the world. I was excited to be part of making it. This was my new desk. This was my new job. I wanted to do it really well. And now... Now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. I thought their lives would be better. They're doing nothing. It's amazing. Honey really changes people. You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? What did you want to show me? This. What happened here? That is not the half of it. Oh, no. Oh, my. They're all wilting. Doesn't look very good, does it? No. And whose fault do you think that is? You know, I'm gonna guess these. These? Specifically, me. I didn't think these not needing to make. Honey would affect all these things. It's not just flowers. Fruits, vegetables, they all need these. That's our whole SAT test right there. Take away produce that affects the entire animal kingdom. And then, of course, the human species. So if there's no more pollination, it could all just go south here, couldn't it? I know this is also partly my fault. How about a suicide pact? How do we do it? I'll sting you, you step on me. That just kills you twice. Right, right. Listen, Harry. Sorry, but I gotta get going. I had to open my mouth and talk. Vanessa? Vanessa? Why are you leaving? Where are you going? To the final tournament of Roses Parade. In Pasadena. They've moved it to this weekend. Because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance. I'll ever have to see it. Vanessa, I just... Wanna say I'm sorry. I never meant it to turn out like this. I know. Me neither. Tournament of Roses. Roses can't do sports. Wait a minute. Roses. Roses? Roses? Vanessa? Roses? Very? Roses are flowers? Yes, they are. Flowers, bees, pollen. I know. That's why this is the last parade. Maybe not. Oh, I'll you ask him to slow down? Oh, I'll you slow down? Very? Okay, I made a huge mistake. This is a total disaster, all my fault. Yes, it kind of is. I ruined the planet. I wanted to help you. With a flower shop. I've made it worse. Actually, it's completely closed down. I thought maybe you were remodeling. But I have another idea, and it's... Greater than my previous ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. Alright, they have the roses, the roses have the pollen. I know every bee, plant, and flower but in this park. All we gotta do is get what they've got. Back here, with what we've got. Bees. Park. Pollen. Flowers. Repollination. Across the nation. Tournament of Roses, Pasadena, California. They've got nothing. But flowers, floats and cotton candy. Security will be tight. I have an idea. Vanessa Bloom, FTD. Official floral business. It's real. Sorry, man. Nice brooch. Thank you. It was a gift. Once inside, we just pick the right float. How about the princess and the pea? I could be the princess, and you could be the pea. Yes, I got it. Where should I sit? What are you? I believe I'm the pea. The pea? It goes under the mattresses. Not in this fairy tale, sweetheart. I'm getting the marshal. You do that. This whole parade is a fiasco. Let's see what this baby will do. Hey, what are you doing? Then all we do is blend in with traffic. Without arousing suspicion, once at the airport, there's no stopping us. Stop. Security. You and your insect pat your float. Yes. Has it been in your possession the entire time? Would you remove your shoes? Remove your stinger. It's part of me. 
I know. Just having some fun. Enjoy your flight. Then if we're lucky, we'll have... Just enough pollen to do the job. Only believe how lucky we are. We have just enough pollen to do the job. I think this is gonna work. It's got to work. Attention, passengers, this is Open Scott. We have a bit of bad weather in New York. It looks like we'll experience a couple hours delay. Harry, these are cut flowers with no water. They'll never make it. I gotta get up there and talk to them. Be careful. Oh my, get help. With a Sky Mall magazine? I'd like to order the talking. Inflatable nose and ear hair trimmer. Open, I'm in a real situation. What'd you say, Al? Nothing. Me? Don't freak out. My entire species. What are you doing? Wait a minute. I'm an attorney. Who's an attorney? Don't move. Oh, very. Good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain. Would a Miss Vanessa Bloom in 24E please report to the cockpit? And please hurry. What happened here? There was a dust buster, a talpi, a life raft exploded. One's old, one's in a boat. They're both unconscious. Is that another E joke? No! No one's flying the plane! This is JFK Control Tower, Flight 356. What's your status? This is Vanessa Bloom. I'm a florist from New York. Where's the pilot? He's unconscious, and so is the copilot. Not good. Does anyone on board have flight experience? As a matter of fact, there is. Who's that? Harry Benson. From the Honey Trial? Oh, great. Vanessa, this is nothing more than a big metal V. It's got giant wings, huge engines. I can't fly a plane. Why not? Isn't John Travolta a pilot? Yes. How hard could it be? Wait, hurry! We're headed into some lightning. This is Bob Bumble. We have some late-breaking news from JFK Airport, where a suspenseful scene is developing. Harry Benson, fresh from his legal victory. That's Harry! Is attempting to land a plane loaded with people, flowers, and an incapacitated flight crew. Flowers? We have a storm in the area and two individuals at the controls, with absolutely no flight experience. Just a minute. There's a V on that plane. I'm quite familiar with Mr. Benson, and his no-count computers. They've done enough damage. But isn't he your only hope? Technically, a V shouldn't be able to fly at all. Their wings are too small. Haven't we heard this a million times? The surface area of the winds and body mass make no sense. Get this on the air! Got it. Stand by. We're going live. The way we work may be a mystery to you. Making money takes a lot of these. Doing a lot of small jobs. But let me tell you about a small job. If you do it well, it makes a big difference. More than we realize it. To us, to everyone. That's why I want to get these. Back to working together. That's the new way. We're not made of jello. We get behind the fellow. Black and yellow. Hello. Left, right, down, hover. Hover? Forget hover. This isn't so hard. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Harry, what happened? Wait, I think we were on autopilot the whole time. That may have been helping me. And now we're not. So it turns out I cannot fly a plane. All of you, let's get behind this fellow. Move it out. Move out. Our only chance is if I do what I do, you copy me with the wings of the plane. Don't have to yell. I'm not yelling. We're in a lot of trouble. It's very hard to concentrate. With that panicky tone in your voice. It's not a tone. I'm panicking. I can't do this. Vanessa, pull yourself together. You have to snap out of it. You 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 snap out of it. Hold it. Why? 
Ooh, Mom, it's my turn. How is the plane flying? I don't know. Hello? Benson, got any flowers? For a happy occasion in there? The pollen shocks. They do get behind the fellow. Black and yellow. Hello. All right, let's drop this tin can on the black cup. Where? I can't see anything. Oh, you? No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Ooh, Mom. You got to think B, very. Think in B. 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 Wait a minute. I think I'm feeling something. What? I don't know. It's strong, pulling me. Like a 27 million year old instinct. Bring the nose down. Think in B. Think in B. Think in B. What in the world is on the tarmac? Get some lights on that. Think in B. Think in B. Think in B. Vanessa, aim for the flower. Okay. Out the engines. We're going inches on the power. Ready, boys? Affirmative. Good. Good. Easy. Now. That's it. Land on that flower. Ready? Full reverse. Spin it around. Not that flower. The other one. Which one? That flower. I mean, we got the flower. That's a fat guy in a flower shirt. I mean the giant pulsating flower. Made of millions of bees. Pull forward. Nose down. Tail up. Rotate around it. This is... Insane. Hurry. This is the only way I know how to fly. Am I cuckoo catch you, or is this plane flying in an insect-like pattern? Get your nose in there. Don't be afraid. Smell it. Full reverse. Just drop it. Be a part of it. Aim for the center. Now drop it in. Drop it in, woman. Uman, already. Hurry, we did it. You taught me how to fly. Yes. No high five. Right. Hurry, it worked. Did you see the giant flower? What giant flower? Where? Of course. I saw the flower. That was genius. Thank you. But we're not done yet. Listen, everyone. This runway is covered with the last pollen from the last flowers available anywhere on Earth. That means this is our last chance. We're the only ones who make honey, pollinate flowers and dress like this. If we're gonna survive as a species, this is our moment. What do you say? Are we going to be bees, or just... Museum of Natural History keychains? We're bees! Keychain? Then follow me! Except keychain. Hold on, Barry. Here. You've earned this. Yeah! I'm a pollen shock! And it's a perfect... Fit. All I gotta do are the sleeves. Oh, yeah. That's our very mom. The bees are back. If anybody needs to make a call, now's the time. I got a feeling we'll be working late tonight. Here's your change. Have a great afternoon. Oh, my help who's next? Would you like some honey with that? It is the approved. Don't forget these milk. Cream, cheese, it's all me. And I don't see a nickel. Sometimes I just feel like a piece of meat. I have no idea. Harry, I'm sorry. Have you got a moment? Would you excuse me? My mosquito associate will help you. Sorry I'm late. He's a lawyer too. I was already a blood-sucking parasite. All I needed was a briefcase. Have a great afternoon. Harry, I just got this huge tool of order, and I can't get them anywhere. No problem, then I... Just leave it to me. You're a lifesaver, Harry. Oh my help, who's next? All right, scramble, shocks. It's time to fly. Thank you, Harry. That bee is living my life. Let it go, Kenny. When will this nightmare end? Let it all go. Beautiful day to fly. Sure is. Between you and me, I was dying to get out of that office. You have got to start thinking me, my friend. Thinking me. Me? Hold it. Let's just stop. For a second. Hold it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. Don't we stop here? 
I'm not making a major life decision. Doing a production number. All right. Take ten, everybody. Wrap it up, guys. I had virtually no rehearsal for that. And now for something slightly different. What if these were intolerant of hornets? What if these were made of smaller V's? What if these were made out of the IGGERVs? What if you picked up a phone and instead of a phone it was these? What if there was a photo of these? What if there were a bunch of these on a plane? What if the dinosaurs were killed by these? What if the dinosaurs were these? What if your Facebook becomes infested with these? What if these hacked your Facebook? What if someone wrote on your wall about these? What if cats vomited these? What if these could travel through paintings? What if these was a science and was subject to be review? What if these are contagious? What if there was a vegan? What if you forgot to reload the vegan? What if the computer monitor could produce these? What if these start demanding civil rights? What if the Magna Carta has been these the whole time? What if rabbits swore allegiance to the V's? What if Chinese V's? What if Japanese schoolgirl V's? What if V's were four-dimensional? What if V's were time travelers? What if time travel turns you into V's? What if time travel requires V's? What if you could replace explosions with V's? What if instead of movies there were V's? What if you could buy V's on the black market? What if V's are accepted as payment in Hawaii? What if instead of throwing V's on Mardi Gras you threw V's? What if V's wrote a travelogue? What if the travelogue was just V's? What if you looped with V's? What if you served refreshments to V's? What if someone mentions V's? What if these formed a religion? What if that religion involved clockwork these? What if these had a polite disagreement? What if these were paid to rake leaves? What if these were in the guise of the tundra? What if these are taking over your dreams? What if you control these with your dreams? What if fictional characters happen to be these? What if these were aliens? What if these come from the Velar beneath the Earth? What if these could blow people up with a blink of an eye? What if these were a superhero? What if you could mail order these? What if the store has a sale on these? What if the these had a gay pride parade? What if these went to the parade with no clothes? What if they accidentally intentionally paved over these? What if I accidentally these? What if these could live in any hollow area? What if these were secret agents? What if you and these had highly different taste in music? What if plants dance to attract these? What if these swarmed around and stung people? What if these are just mad because someone cut them off in traffic? What if these could disrupt your Wi-Fi? What if these were replaced with a numerical code? What if these resembled these? What if these resembled D-I-S-S-E-R-E-N-T-V's? What if these were exactly like the movie? What if Poland cannot into these? What if each cannon was a different color of V? What if these were nocturnal and sucked blood? What if these and werewolves were sworn enemies? What if dogs were unable to perceive these? What if these had subwoofers? What if nobody realized that the these had an evil plan? What if these were censored by the government? What if transition metals reacted with these? What if these framed a politician for larceny? What if these had ties to organized crime? What if these unwittingly morphed into heroin during the full moon? What if someone wrote a book about these? What if these were computer illiterate? What if I'm these? What if these misread directions and kill the lemon tree? What if these were an accurate description of the concept of the assembly line? 
What if Willy Wonka was prepared for knees? What if knees had fetishes? What if knees could vibrate through walls and discern motives? What if knees were put on the no-fly list? What if knees were mistakenly put on the sex offender registry? What if knees overran a mental institution? What if knees had daydreams about becoming limbers? What if there was a wiki about knees? What if Wikipedia was knees? And that concludes my yellow and blue broadcast. I hope everyone out there enjoyed, and perhaps if you subscribe to this person and like this video, I'll allow your parents to stay alive. Good night, Yachin. You should sleep while you still can. Sources are in the description. I am ashamed of myself. I listened to nearly all of this. All of it. What a nightmare. More to come.